Hello, and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Thank you for joining me today. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at this game here. This is Ratuki, which is an adjective meaning fast by the op, um, previously known as USAopoly. You're going to get to see me open this up and uh, hear my thoughts as I open this up and see it for the first time. I do have to thank the op for providing me with a review copy of this game. Um, again, I mentioned I was in the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find us on the internet everywhere as Tabletop Bellhop, one word, and head to our website, tabletopbellhop.com, for all kinds of gaming content, like more unboxing videos, actual plays, reviews, and answers to our fans' gaming and game night questions. We're going to jump right to the monkey, though. I'm going to turn the camera around. So for those of you here joining us live on Twitch, thank you for joining us. You can find us at twitch.tv slash tabletopbellhop, where we record the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, Toronto, New York time. All right, we're going to crack into this right away. What I'm going to do before I move the camera is cut the shrink off this, just so we don't get a horrible amount of glare off our cameras. I do have to thank our Patreon patrons for their support because we have upgraded our show tonight. We have two cameras and additional lighting. Part and thanks to our Patreon patrons, so thank you. All right, so here we have it. I've got the shrink wrap off. We're all set up. We moved the camera on. We got some more light. You can see this, again, Ratuki, the fast flipping, quick grabbing card game from the op. All right, we got instructions right on top. They're just a little fold out. The front, the back. Unfortunately, due to the green blue on here, I probably can't throw this onto my green screen very well. But you can kind of see the instructions here. How to win, first player to 100 points. Separate the cards into colored decks. Each player chooses one, return to the box, shuffle, draw three cards, find a pen and paper. I'm not going to show off the full rules. Uh, there is a nice link to the op games here. Looks really dead simple. You have two sides, two pages. That's it. And we got the cards, which unfortunately feature a lot of blue. I was hoping uh, I would have been better off with a green screen than a blue screen, it seems, for this particular game. Uh, no um, cigarette-style opening here. That would have been nice. This is quite the stack of cards. We're not looking at a 52-card deck here. This is a huge stack of cards. So this is the back of the cards. Is this, oh, they're different colors. I wasn't expecting that. I don't know if every player gets their own colors. So we got a blue set. A blue set of cards. A green set of cards. A purple set of cards. We got more over here. I will have to say, I know nothing about this game. Absolutely zero, zip, nada. I know the op is not the first one to produce this. This is a, a popular mass market game that multiple different publishers have produced over the years. Oh, we have some kind of, some summary cards. So five different colors. They're the same, let's flip them. So we'll throw this one under here so you can see it up close. And then on the other side, card quality is really nice, nice thickness. I'm getting some reflections there. Definitely clear to see across the room. Let's see what we got in the deck. So. We have the word Ratuki, which you got some blues there. And then we have one, two, three, oh, four, five, slash, double slash, triple slash, quadruple slash, five slash, then one uno, two of those, two two dos, three tres, four cuatro. An up arrow. Oh, now we're going one, two, three, four, five that way. And one, two, three, three.
three, three, four, five that way. That is what's in that deck. I am going to guess another deck's going to be the exact the same. Give us the exact same results. So quickly going through the yellows, which have blue background, we have a whole bunch of Ratukis. No, all of the yellows say Ratuki on this side. Okay, so we're going to this side. Ratuki, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, five. Same thing. So the same thing in five different colors. That is it. Um, we have a rule summary card that's in here, rules to remember. One-sided. Again, you can just see it's the blue is going through. And we have five of those, so I would assume this is a five-player game. Now it says it's up to seven players. Nope, sorry, age is seven plus, two to five players, 15-minute play time. So quick card game. Um, Got to say it looks better than Uno already. I have to assume it has to do with counting, that you would try to play the same number as someone else, and you have to try to do the smart thing where you realize that's a five, so you can play it on that five, but I am completely guessing. Five different colors. I'm assuming you probably shuffle all these together. And then what will be interesting is if you hold your hand out, people will be able to see what colors you have. That's about it. A whole bunch of cards. A summary sheet. And a set of instructions. i got to show off how huge this deck is. Look at that. That is a huge deck of cards. Stack of cards. Problem with this is they're not going to fit back in here nicely. If they kind of go next to each other, they're going to... Well, if they're all shuffled together, I guess it won't matter. The box insert is just a bunch of cardboard. Those are only falling out because I didn't actually slide them over to the other side. So curious how this one's going to play. I'll probably break this out pretty quickly with my family. When I do review this, you'll be able to find that on the blog at tabletopbellhop.com. You'll be able to find this unboxing video on YouTube at youtube.com slash tabletopbellhop. Uh, where you can find all kinds of other videos and YouTubes. And it would be awesome if you hit the subscribe button and ding the bell so you get notifications whenever we put out anything new. So that was Ratuki from the op. So that was what you get in the box for Ratuki. Uh, it's uh, build piles of cards from one to five. It's really that simple. Um, first one to play a five on the deck yields Ratuki. And the cards are yours. Whoever has the most cards at the end of the game wins. There's 175 cards in here. A lot of cards. I gotta say, I was impressed by the iconography. Everything was very clear. It was amusing to see all the different ways to count the five, because there's like hands, there's um, tick marks, there's the numbers, there's dice. Interesting looking game, seems pretty simple. Again, when I when I do get a chance to check this out, we'll be sure to put the review up on tabletopbellhop.com. And we'll also cover it on the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, which you can find on your podcatcher of choice. Just search for the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast. Speaking of the Tabletop Bellhop, that's me. I'm Mo. Good night. Game on.